ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen, ladies, girls and boys, boys and girls. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back to our little space that we have uh, this weekend. Um, first of all, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notifications, and let you know that our channel is on. Um, share, like, and share the video. Thank you in advance. Be Fly Optician, Inspirational Minutes with David. I hope that uh, everyone had a uh, an awesome week this week, uh, you know, because again, like I always say, I say that we get through the week, right? And some of us have to pass through the week, pass through the week, W-E-A-K, to get through the week, W-E-E-K, and by Friday to Saturday, especially Friday night, Saturday morning, you are weekend, hence the weekend. Weekend, W E A K E N, hence the weekend, W E E K E N D. Words cast spells, and that's why it's called broadcasting and spelling. And, oh, and by the way, yes, you know I have to say, hey, get the book, The Audacity of Woke. The Audacity of Woke, Kindle, The Audacity of Woke, Amazon.com, yours truly, David Butler. The Audacity of Woke, $9.99. $9.99, $14.99 for the soft cover. Um, great book, by the way. I must say so myself. If you want to learn some things and, and grow up a little bit in your spirituality, get the book. Hey. It's the weekend. And I'm not weakened. Even by what I get through the week. So today, our inspirational minutes with David today is properly titled Warning, Warning, No, N O P E. Yeah, I had to name it that. By the way, I Saw the movie Thursday, the premiere, nope, uh, by Jordan Peele. Uh, interesting movie. Uh, has Kiki Palmer. Um, has the other guy, uh, Daniel Kaluuya. Brandon Piera and the movie, nope. And uh, pretty good movie. Pretty good movie. Before we talk about that, nope. Because there's a lot of things you need to say no to. There's a lot of things that you, you really need to say no to. You really need to say no to. Are we still on it? Oh, I know you heard about, oh, prayers, right? Yeah, you know, double, triple, triple times and, you know, you know yeah. So, you know, they, they will keep the news with the fear porn inundated and splash into your daily life until you wake up to the bullshit you realize that it was all bullshit <laughs> ah yeah that's real talk hey listen listen people listen family uh university of rochester um you know we knew and we know what happened on july the 5th and and we know that the, the green skies, I think that was in South Dakota, um, that the sky turned green, green, I must say green, green, like the Grinch, that's so Christmas, green, like a, um, a green clover, green. Um, University of Rochester uh, had a report that says that uh, in an underground mine in South Dakota, researchers unravel mysteries of dark matter. So you 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 just thought it was in Switzerland, didn't you? you <laughs> wait, hold on. <laughs> you 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 thought that the Great Collider 
was only in Switzerland, right? Switch the lands with South Dakota in America as well. In America, in America, in America. Oh, yes, they are trying to get through. Uh, Rochester's uh, <laughs> scientists are part of a team that has deployed the world's most sensitive, sensitive dark matter detector, which may profoundly expand our understanding of the universe. You know what I mean? Once a verse to keep going. Scientists around the world have attempted for decades to solve the mystery of dark matter, which accounts for about 85% of all matter in the universe. Proof of dark matter particles fundamentally change our understanding of the makeup of the universe, they say. However, researchers have so far only inferred Dark matter indirectly by observing gravitational effects that cannot be explained by standard theories of gravity. But this is about to change, they say. It's about to change. Students and researchers from the University of Rochester are involved. You can look this up, www.rochester.edu. Are involved in an international collaboration of about 250 scientists. Don't this sound familiar? From 35 institutions. They want to get down through the, they want to get down to the electromagnetic field of Gaia, the Earth. Led by Lawrence Barkley National Lab. Assembling an innovative underground dark matter search. Experimental called Lux Zeppelin. Lux L U Z dash Z S and Zebra. E P L I N. Oh, we can put a short L Z. Nested below the Black Hills of South Dakota, Stanford Underground Research Facility. They call it SURF. S U R F. Stanford Underground Research Facility. See, listen, listen, listen. The green skies, right? The green skies. Let me. Look that up. Green skies. Green skies. Solar. Green skies. That was in South Dakota. Whoa, wow, right? Right? I mean, common sense, right? The green skies. And South and Salt Falls, South Dakota, created by severe weather. Slammed on July the 7th. See, they started CERN July the 5th. And they have a Stanford Underground Research Facility right in the Black Hills of South Dakota. You better wake up. The dark matter detector recently passed a checkout phase of startup operations and delivered its first data points. This is only the beginning, they say. This is only the beginning. Now, this is what the thing looks like. They are on some bullshit uh, uh, again. The world is on some bullshit, Brother Sanchez. Thank you for that quote. We did not see any dark matter, but the first results of LZ, LZ, show that it is currently the most sensitive dark matter detector in the world, says Frank Wolfs. See, wow. Please, people, research this stuff. They said the quest for dark matter. I'll do dark matter particles have never actually been detected. Researchers believe it will only be a matter of time. The countdown may have already started with the results from LZ's first 60 life days of testing. These data points were collected over a span of an initial operation beginning at the end of 2021. December was the month appear long enough to confirm that all aspects of the detector were functioning well. Dark matter remains unseen because it does not emit, absorb, or scatter light. But its presence and gravitational gravito gravito pull are nonetheless fundamental to the understanding of the universe. Yeah. So we got underground detector. Underground detector, a modulator, smashing atoms named LZ. LZ, look it up. 
WWWLZ South Dakota, the sky turned green July 7th, a few weeks ago. Green, I say green. Like green, like like my book cover, green, right up in here. Green, that, that, that color green. Green, 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 green. And so, uh, uh, LZ, we have one here in America, South Dakota. And uh, same thing as CERN, looking for dark matter in the universe. Uh, check this out, people. Uh, check this out, and they said, why is, why is the universe made of mostly exclusively of matter? Just check it out, www.rochester.edu, News Center, why is the universe made of exclusively of matter? Uh, LZ, uh, yeah, LZ, L L L. Z. Enough of this. Enough of it. Okay, and going through my paperwork. We uh we know that uh that uh that you know by them, you know, uh the press uh had a temperature of ninety nine point four degrees late Thursday, which was the day, of the day Thursday evening after testing positive for the you know corona beer. Yeah. Uh, just let that sit right there. Mm. We're gonna let that sit right there because the man so supposedly, you know, three, four, five, six, seven times. Three, four, five, six, seven times. Loaded. Loaded, right? Loaded. But the ones who are loaded are the ones who are getting loaded. What the focus? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, I don't even New York Times, Pearl, man. I don't want to just talk about that too much. We know what the business is. We know what the business is. He, uh, you know, it, it hit him on Wednesday, W-I-N-S, the day, when the day. But, uh, yeah, first lady and vice president received two, bo uh, two boosters. The CDC defines a close contact as anyone who has within six feet of a, okay, well, okay, 15 minutes. All right, okay, we know, we already know. It's been going on for two and a half freaking years. Two and a half years. Two and a half years. 24, 30 months of this stuff, man. 30 months. And you still not cognizant of what they're doing? You still not, you still not cognizant of what they're doing and you still not peeping the play? People! God damn. No. No. And no. No. Well, Mr. Butler, you not. No. No. So sometimes you just got to say no and put the P.E. behind. No. Name of this video. No. Okay. Now, I always remember that. No. But listen. The masses. They have never thirsted after the truth. Right? Never, ever thirsted. Thirst after the truth. They turn aside from evidence that is not to their taste, preferring to deify error. They think no error thing in our errors in the everything. If error seduced them, they'll be seduced by their errors. However, can however can supply them with illusions. Is easily their master. Whoever attempts to destroy or decimate their illusions is always their victim. You see, human words, human words and thoughts are only possibilities. There are no truths, just ideas. And Gaia, the earth, is hosting the human reality. Time, past, and future was made up by men. There is only the now. One for their dreams, people. One day we will all wake the hell up to reality. Some people wake up a little sooner than others. I, too, have been shaking and waking up with cold water thrown in my face. I come out to my sister, <gasps> shook it off, got the news that was before me, research, 
And I began to evolve. I come out that egg. I cracked about that thing. It been enclosed and in cast. I have been enclosed and in cast in it for decades. For decades. Life offers changes. Life offers us changes. It might feel like an end to the world, but there's no end, not really. Only new places, new locations, and vistas, new realities to see and to experience. Sometimes it's hard and we wonder, how did we get here? And how did we get here in reality? Which doors we took? Which ones we were, which ones we were meant or never meant to ever open? But it isn't in the doubting. Start doubting about what doors you should have opened and, and how do you get to the place you are in currently in your life. Rather, it's in the full inhabiting of one's life. The standing in where we are with the wind in our face. The sun bright, the rain cold against our skin. And the darkness always at the horizon. Just waiting. And waiting. And waiting. Here we can take up the pen. We can take up the pen and begin to write our own story. Right? Redo your story. And you can revise that many, many times along the, this life journey and along the way. And begin to write and revise your own life story. Perhaps it will be a comedy. Maybe a tragedy. And we step wholly into the pages of our life. What would it be if we did that? If we honestly step wholly, wholly, consciously, consciously into the pages of our life. What would it be? When I wrote the pages and got the pen, I wrote the audacity. Awoke. How the hell... You're going to have the temerity, the gall, the guts to question your why. Because we've been asleep a long time. And no, 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 I'm not doing it no more. Perhaps we're all idiots of what we portrayed. Maybe we became full of pride. You know what we say about pride, right? We... We talked about this for many months. You drop the PR pride, what do you have left? Let's go. Fasten the seatbelts. We're going on a real fast ride. Or maybe it was victimhood. Maybe we became lost or grew full of our own importance. Maybe we were masters for a time. Fell in love, joy, bliss, grief, or into the madness. Maybe we made errors or judgment. Who hard lessons we now must learn or pay for. Or maybe, just maybe, there is a harvest. Shining rich, shining rich and golden. As we step up to the press of our presence of our lives. Ready to gather its fragment wheat into our arms. After so many long years of waiting. This is life, people. This is life. And life awaits our presence, not our safety. Oh, wait. Repeat, David. Repeat and drop a damn bomb. Drop a damn bomb. Drop a damn bomb. Life <laughs> awaits our presence. Not our safety. Not our hesitation. What he waited on. Wait broke the wagon. Between life hard covers from its beginning until the inevitable end. I need you to smile. Embrace. Give. Do not live in fake expectations appearing real. Do not live in fear. Even as they tell us. That is all there is with the fear point of the 
news media, fake news, the fear porn and social media, the fear porn and the indoctrination of the 12 point program that we went through first through 12, the fear porn in society, the fear porn that, oh, maybe the world's going to crash. Maybe the, the glass ceiling above us in the firmament is going to crash in the old firmament. Upon us, and the water will pour down and flood us. I need to laugh. Even in the darkness, even in the question, even through our tears. Live, I say live. L I V E. You have to live because when you put live in the mirror, L I V E backwards. It's evil. I need to live. For what we hear, we're only here for a short time, a very short time. And maybe it is a tragedy. Maybe a life is a opera, an opera, or just a grand comedy, comedy club. Or maybe the story stands as a spectacular fall from grace, but do not let it be nothing. You know why? What my point is? I'm about to go off. You, you know, when well, I use this as a point, you know why? Because you are nothing and no thing. And all these things mark our place and time and our limitations and, and limitation and initiations, initiations into the wisdom of your life. Live it. Do not, 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 do not be afraid. And live it grandly. Even the mistakes. Even the cold. The loss. Other ways. Nope. N-O-P-E. We're going to live our lives. We're going to evolve. We're going to say no. And we're going to say nope. Not this time. Okay. Even if it means knowing that one slip and our soul may go home. For one day, our soul must go home. This energy must come out the body and change form. The great book of our life must be our life. The great story of being our own. I need you to read it. Breathe it. Write it. Write it. Turn off the fear. Fake expectations appearing real. Fake evidence appearing real. Turn off the fear on the news. Fake news. And turn in love to those around you. For this this here is our story. Every page. Spark. Every breath. For in the soul, every moment. It's fire. That's why Rachel Atlanta, midwives of the soul. Like I said, I watched the um, Jordan Peele movie um, yesterday. Um, the movie, no, the title of our inspirational minutes with David right now. No, and uh, good movie, Kiki Palmer. She was very uh, inspirational. She did her thing in the movie. Um, they did a review on it. My review will be on it as well. It's not really a horror movie. It's a little bit different than Get Out and Us, if you've seen those two previous movies of Jordan Peele. Um, the film opens up by quoting a Bible verse from the book of Nahum. And um, the, 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 vibe, the Bible verse, verse <laughs> it says, I'm going to get to you. I'm gonna, let me look this up. Let me look this up real quick. 
The Bible verse. Spectacle. It talks about that. And it says, I'm quote unquote, I will cast out minable filth at you. Make you vile. Make you a make you a spectacle. Followed by a quiet eerie scene involving an animal that's best left said or unsaid for first time viewers. What he's saying in the review. It talks about this guy named uh, Otis Jr. They call him OJ and Emerald Haywood, which is played by Kiki Palmer. And OJ is played by Daniel Kaluuya, you know, the guy that was in uh, his first two Jordan Peele movies. Um, the dad died and left a farm to them that they raised horses, Haywood, Hollywood horses as their company. And uh, they try to make money out of horses, but a spectacle, a spectacle was there. And a spectacle, the definition of a spectacle, it says, let me hear you Spectacle. Say, spectacle is a visual striking performance or display. Check the movie out yourself. It was a good movie. Um, from 1 to 10, I give it like an 8.5. I'm going to see it again. You know me. I got to get down deep up in there. I need to not under, not only uh, understand, I need to overstand, understand what the movie trying to uh, say to me, to my spirit. Um, hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell notifications. I have this to say as well. And we're gonna end the we're gonna end our inspirational minutes with David today. Hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification, hit the like and share. Buy the book, The Audacity of Hope. Thank you in advance. Know that uh, I love me. Cause I have to love me every bit of me, every facet of my makeup and my being. And when I love every part of me, I Emanate that energy back out into the universe. To you. So I give you the example of how to love yourself. To be fly, first love yourself. When no one ever again be able to hurt you or have any type of power over you when you first love yourself. So I love me because I love you. And when you love you, you love me in return. Hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notifications. Hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notifications. I will leave you with this. It's a, I got two quotes I want to say before we leave out today. You become unstoppable when you work on things that people can't take away from you. Things like your mindset, character, personality, transparency, your whole entire being. Hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification. Note that I love you. And I leave you with this. A last quote. Letting go. And what I mean by letting go, letting go of traditions, letting go of indoctrinations, letting go of people who don't serve your energy right. Letting go of experiences. Letting go of terrible energy. Letting go of negative energy that's invading your spirit. Letting go doesn't mean, it does not mean giving up. But rather accepting, accepting that there are things, there are things, it cannot be. We're in a fight. We are in a war. And we're going to continue and truck right along. My name is David. I am the fly. Optician. I love you. I love you in truth. Until next time, peace.